Hello everybody, welcome to part 1 of building with convector. In this opportunity I'm going to show you how to start a project from scratch right from your terminal. So convector comes with two really handy tools. The first one is Hurley, which is a development environment manager. It is not necessarily uh, limited to convector smart contracts, but it also works well with convector. And the other one is the convector CLI. The first one you need to install, you can just do npm i g and you can, you can type world civil slash hurley and this is going to bring to you the tool in the global so you can start creating environments or destroying environments. Again, it's going to work with Golang smart contracts as well, as well Node.js, uh, you know, vanilla smart contracts from Hyperledger Fabric. Uh, but in this case, we will use it to work with Convector. And to install the Convector CLI, you just need to install in the same way the Convector CLI, like this. You can surely do things by hand, like creating all the all the basic files, like the package.json and things like that. Uh, Convector CLI, what it does is like bootstrap in your project. It's kind of what Geom and Generators do for you. In the latest versions of Convector CLI, it bootstraps your project with Hurl included. So what you have to get familiar with is with the conf uh, command. Yeah, it's going to help you to create your project from scratch, but it's also going to help you to create new files like controllers as well models. So you only have to do conf new. Let's call this project my first project and we will include a new chain code by default. Uh, this is going to be the source code of our actual smart contract. So let's call this one products. So you need to get into the folder uh, that we just created. In here we can see all the files created for us and we will see more in detail each one of them. So let's open this folder to see these contents. So what you can see in here is the basic structure that we recommend for a project. Uh, it, you don't necessarily need to follow this structure but it's really helpful. We use Lerna so what Lerna does is manage your packages because usually when you are building, uh, you want to have multiple independent units of projects so that you can share code bases. Uh, it, it's really simple actually. What it does is it creates this packages folder and every folder inside of this packages folder will be an independent project with the different dependencies and so on. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to install the dependencies. So let's do npm i. So now that it is, it is ready, uh, we can check the contents more in detail. So as I was telling you, we have this specific project which is called products. It's the name of our smart contract. And here we have the main files. These are the controllers and the models. I'm going to take a look in a deeper way in the next videos, but it is important for you to understand that since this is TypeScript code, this needs to be compiled into JavaScript code, which is the actually source code that will be running on your smart contracts in your containers from the Hyperledger Fabric blockchain. So for you, this will compile in a file that you can double check and you can, you know, you can see all the details. Uh, the reason why this is built on TypeScript is because it brings a lot of benefits like adding things like decorators and types to your source code so you can build more robust code. But also, it, these files extend from this uh, convector model and convector controller that add some extra value to your, to your way of building. Another files that are, that are also important are these that config, that JSON files. What these files are saying is we will build uh, the, the final compiled version of the code based on this controller property. It says you have to look into this path. The main controller is this one. And the name that we are providing for this one is this. That, that's the one that I said at the beginning. And it also says some things like 
you will need this network profile in order to install this chain code and to compile some details. So in this case, since I am using Hurley, by default, it will go to your home folder and it will create this path Hyperledger Fabric Network and you already will have everything you need to install for your blockchain network. So you don't typically change these paths, but it is important that you understand what is happening in your project. So overall, this is all you need. You can just start building and changing these files. That is what we are going to do in the next videos.